17. The Night Journey In the name of God, the gracious, the loving. Glory to the one who carried his servant on a night journey from the sacred mosque to the remote temple, whose precincts are blessed, so that we might show him some of our signs. For he is the one who hears and sees. We gave Moses the Bible and made it a guide for the children of Israel, saying, Take no other protector apart from me, O descendants of those we bore with Noah. Surely he was a grateful servant. And we made known to the children of Israel in the Bible that twice they would do mischief on earth, and you will behave with great arrogance. So when the first of the warnings happened, we sent against you our servants of terrible warfare, who went through your homes, and the warning was fulfilled. Then we gave you back your turn against them, and aided you with wealth and children, and made a numerous band. If you do good, you will do good for your own souls. If you do wrong, it is against yourselves. So when the second of the warnings happened, they ravaged you and entered your temple as they had before, so that they might destroy whatever fell under their power. It may be that your Lord will have mercy on you, and if you return again, we shall return also, and we have made hell a prison for the disbelievers. Surely this Quran guides to the way that is most right and gives good news to the believers who do good, that they will have a great reward. And those who do not believe in the hereafter, we have prepared for them grievous suffering. Humans pray for evil as they pray for good for humans are apt to be hasty. We have made the night and the day two signs. We have obscured the sign of the night and made the sign of the day enlightening so that you may seek grace from your Lord and that you might know the numbering of years and the reckoning. For we have explained everything distinctly. We have tied every human's destiny to one's neck and we shall bring out for one on the day of judgment a book which one will find wide open. Read your book. Your own soul is sufficient this day to make an account against you. Whoever is guided is only guided for one's own soul, and whoever goes astray does so for one's own loss. Nor can anyone bear the burden of another, nor do we chastise until we send a messenger. And when we wish to destroy a town, we command its people who lead easy lives, but they transgress there. Thus the word proves true against it, so we completely destroy it. How many generations have we destroyed after Noah? For God is adequate at knowing and seeing the faults of his servants. Whoever desires the transitory things, we readily grant them what we will to whom we will. Then we assign them to hell, where they will burn, be despised, and be rejected. Whoever desires the hereafter and strives for it as one should, having faith, the striving of these is acceptable. All do we aid, these as well as those, from the grace of your Lord. And the grace of your Lord is not confined. See how we have made some of them to excel others, and certainly the hereafter is far superior in excellence. Do not associate with God any other deity or you will sit despised and neglected. Your Lord has decreed that you shall not serve any but him, and to be kind to parents. Whether one or both of them attains old age with you, do not scorn them nor chide them, but speak to them graciously, and humble yourself gently to them with compassion, and say, O oh my Lord, have mercy on them, as they cherished me in childhood. Your Lord knows best what is in your hearts. If you are good, then he is forgiving to those who turn to him again and again. And give your relatives their due rights, and to the needy and to the wayfarer, but do not squander wastefully. Surely the spendthrifts are the brothers of Satan, and Satan is ungrateful to his Lord. But if you turn from them to seek mercy from your Lord in your hope, then speak to them gentle words. Do not keep your hand shackled to your neck, nor stretch it out to the utmost reach, lest you become blamed and destitute. Surely your Lord provides abundant sustenance for whom he pleases, and he disciplines, for he knows and sees all his servants. 
Do not kill your children from fear of poverty. We shall provide sustenance for them and for you. Surely to kill them is a great wrong. And do not commit adultery, for it is shameful and an evil path. Do not kill anyone whom God has made sacred except for a just cause. And if anyone is slain unjustly, we have given his heir authority. So let him not exceed the just limits in killing, for he is aided. Do not come near the property of an orphan, except to improve it, until he attains maturity and fulfills the covenant, for the covenant will be questioned. Give full measure when you measure, and weigh with a true balance. This is fair and better in the end. Do not follow that of which you have no knowledge, for the hearing and the sight and the heart will be questioned. Do not walk on the earth arrogantly, for you cannot cut through the earth, nor reach the mountains in height. The evil of all this is hateful in the sight of your Lord. This is the wisdom your Lord has revealed to you. Do not associate any other deity with God, lest you be thrown into hell, blamed and rejected. Then has your Lord preferred to give you sons and taken for himself daughters from among the angels? Surely you are saying a dreadful thing. We have repeated in this Quran so that they may be mindful, but it only increases their aversion. Say, if there were deities with him as they say, then certainly they would have been able to seek a way to the Lord of power. Glory be to him. He is exalted high above what they say. The seven heavens and the earth and all the beings in them extol his glory, and there is nothing that does not celebrate his praise. But you do not understand their glorification. Truly he is ever patient and forgiving. When you recite the Quran, we place between you and those who do not believe in the hereafter a hidden barrier, and we have placed veils on their hearts and deafness in their ears lest they understand it. When you mention your Lord alone in the Quran, they turn their backs in aversion. We know best why they listen when they listen to you, and when they conspire secretly, the unjust say, You are only following a man bewitched. See what similes they strike for you. Thus have they gone astray and cannot find the way. They say, After we have become bones and dust, shall we really be raised up as a new creation? Say, Become stones or iron or some other created thing that in your minds is too hard. Then they will say, Who will bring us back? Say, The one who created you at first. Then they will shake their heads at you and say, When will it be? Say, Maybe it will be soon, on the day when he will call you. Then you will answer praising him, and you will think that you have delayed but a little while. Say to my servants that they should speak what is best, for Satan stirs up discord between them. Your Lord knows you best. He will have mercy on you if he pleases, or he will chastise you if he pleases. We have not sent you to be their guardian. And your Lord knows best all who are in the heavens and on earth. We have preferred some prophets over others, and we gave to David the Psalms. Say, call on those whom you assert besides him. They have no power to remove your troubles from you, nor to change them. Those whom they call upon desire the means to come to their Lord, even those who are nearest, and they hope for his mercy and fear his chastisement, for surely your Lord's chastisement is something to beware of. There is no town, but we shall destroy it before the day of judgment, or chastise it with severe suffering. This is written in the decree. Nothing could prevent us from sending the signs except that the ancient people denied them. We sent the she-camel to Thamud as a visible portent, but they treated her wrongly. We only send the signs to frighten. And when we said to you, Surely the Lord encompasses humanity, and we ordained the vision which we showed you, but as a trial for humans, as also the cursed tree in the Quran. We frighten them, but it only adds to their great insolence. And when we said to the angels, Make obeisance to Adam, they made obeisance, except Iblis. 
He said, Shall I make obeisance to him whom you created from dust? He said, Do you see this one whom you have honored above me? If you will give me a respite until the day of judgment, I shall surely master his descendants, except a few. He said, Go, and whoever follows you, surely hell will be your recompense, an ample recompense. Entice whomever you can with your voice. Make assaults on them with your cavalry and your infantry. Share with them wealth and children, and make promises to them. Yet Satan makes no promises but to deceive. As for my servants, you have no authority over them. Your Lord is sufficient as a protector. Your Lord is he who speeds the ships for you on the sea, that you may seek his grace, for he is ever merciful to you. When distress afflicts you at sea, those you call upon besides him fail. But when he brings you safely to land, you turn away, for man is ever ungrateful. Do you then feel secure that he will not cause a tract of land to engulf you or send against you a sandstorm? Then you will find no protector for yourselves. Or do you feel secure that he will not send you back a second time and send against you a fierce gale to drown you because of your ingratitude? Then you will not find any helper against us. We have honored the children of Adam, and we carry them on land and sea, and provide them with good things, and have preferred them over many of those we created. One day we shall summon all human beings with their leaders. Those who are given their record in their right hand will read it, and they will not be dealt with in the least unjustly. Whoever is blind in this world will be blind in the hereafter, and will stray even further from the way. And their purpose was to tempt you away from what we have revealed to you, that you might invent something else against us. And then they would certainly have accepted you as a friend. And had we not given you strength, you would nearly have inclined toward them a little. Then we certainly would have made you taste double in this life and double after death. Then you would have not found any helper against us. Their purpose was to scare you off the land in order to expel you. But in that case, they would have not stayed after you except for a little while. Such was the way with the messengers we sent before you, and you will not find a change in our ways. Be constant in prayer from sunset until darkness, and in the recitation at dawn, for the dawn recitation is witnessed. And pray during part of the night an additional prayer for you. Maybe your Lord will raise you to a glorious position. Say, My Lord, let me enter in a true and sincere way, and let me go out in a true and sincere way, and grant me from your grace helpful power. And say, The truth has come, and falsehood has vanished, for falsehood is bound to vanish. We send down in the Quran that which is a healing and a mercy to the believers while it only adds to the loss of the unjust. Yet when we bless man, he turns away and proudly keeps aloof, but when ill afflicts him, he despairs. Say, everyone acts according to one's disposition, but your Lord knows best who is best guided on the way. They ask you about the soul. Say, the soul is at the bidding of my Lord, and you are given only a little knowledge. If it were our will, we could take away what we have revealed to you. Then you would not find any protector against us, except for mercy from your Lord, for his grace to you is great. Say, if all humans and spirits combined together to produce the like of this Quran, they could not produce anything like it, though they helped each other. And we have explained for humans in this Quran every kind of similitude, Yet most people refuse anything but disbelief. They say, We shall not believe you until you cause a fountain to gush forth from the earth for us, or you have a garden of palms and grapes in which rivers flow abundantly, or you cause the sky to fall in pieces as you asserted, or you bring God and the angels face to face, or you have a house of gold, or you ascend into heaven, and we shall not believe in your ascending until you bring down to us a book we can read. Say, Glory to my Lord, am I anything but a mortal messenger? 
Nothing prevented people from believing when the guidance came to them, except that they said, Has God sent a mortal to be a messenger? Say, if there had been on earth angels walking in peace, we would have sent down to them from heaven an angel as a messenger. Say, God is a sufficient witness between me and you, for he is aware of his servants and sees. Whomever God guides follows the right way, but for those whom he lets stray, you will not find any protector besides him. On the day of judgment we shall gather them together on their faces, blind and dumb and deaf. Their home will be hell. Whenever it abates, we shall increase the flames. That is their requital, because they rejected our messages and said, When we have become bones and dust, shall we really be raised up in a new creation? Do they not see that God who creates the heavens and the earth is able to create their like, and he has appointed for them a term about which there is no doubt? But the unjust refuse anything but disbelief. Say, if you control the treasures of my Lord's mercy, then you would withhold them from fear of spending, for humans are ever stingy. To Moses we did give nine clear signs, so ask the children of Israel. When he came to them, Pharaoh said to him, Moses, I think you are a sorcerer. He answered, You know well that the Lord of the heavens and the earth has sent down these as clear evidence, and I consider you, O Pharaoh, to be lost. So he resolved to wipe them off the earth, but we drowned him and those with him altogether. And we said to the children of Israel after him, Dwell in the land. But when the second of the warnings occurred, we gathered you together from various nations. We have revealed the truth, and in truth it has come down. And we have sent you only to give the good message and to warn. The Quran we have divided so that you may recite it to people at intervals. We have revealed it in stages. Say, whether you believe in it or not, those who were given the knowledge before, when it is recited to them, fall down on their faces in humility, saying, Glory to our God. Truly the promise of our Lord has been fulfilled. They fall down on their faces in tears, and it increases their humility. Say, call upon God or call upon the merciful. Whatever name you call upon, he has the best names. Do not speak the prayer loudly nor too softly, but follow a way between these. Say, praise be to God, who has not taken a son and who has no partner in the sovereignty, nor has he any protector from humiliation, and extol his infinite greatness. Sixty four. Loss and Gain. In the name of God, the gracious, the loving. All that is in the heavens and on earth glorifies God, who is sovereign, worthy of praise, and all powerful. God created you, disbeliever and believer, and God sees all you do. God created the heavens and the earth with truth, and has shaped you well, and God is the final goal. God knows all that is in the heavens and on earth, and God knows what you conceal and reveal. God is aware of what is in your hearts. Have you not heard the story of those who disbelieved before? They tasted the bad results of their actions, and they will suffer punishment. That is because their messengers came to them with clear evidence, but they said, Shall mortals be our guides? So they disbelieved and turned away. And God had no need of them, being self-sufficient and glorious. The unbelievers think they will never be raised again. Say, Yes, my Lord, will raise you up again, and you will be informed of all you did. That is easy for God. Therefore believe in God and God's messenger, and in the light which we have revealed. God is aware of all you do. The day when God will gather you for a day of assembly will be a day of loss and gain. Whoever believes in God and does good will have their ills removed, and he will admit them into gardens under which rivers flow to live there forever. That is the supreme achievement. 
But those who disbelieve and deny our revelations will be companions of fire and live there forever, a bad end. No affliction occurs that is not allowed by God. Whoever believes in God, their hearts will be guided, for God knows everything. Obey God and obey the messenger. But if you turn away, the duty of our messenger is to communicate clearly. God, there is no deity but God. And so let the believers trust in God. O believers, among your wives and children are your enemies. Therefore beware of them. If you pardon, overlook, and forgive, surely God is forgiving and merciful. Your wealth and your children are only a test, but in God is the greatest reward. Therefore revere God as best you can. Listen and obey and give charity to benefit your own soul. Whoever is saved from their own greed will prosper. If you lend to God a good loan, God will double it for you and forgive you. For God is grateful and kind, nor of the unseen and seen, powerful and wise. 65. Divorce In the name of God, the gracious, the loving. O prophet, when you divorce women, divorce them after the prescribed time. Count the interval and respect God, your Lord. Do not expel them from their houses, nor shall they leave unless they committed flagrant immorality. These are God's limits. Whoever transgresses God's limits has wronged one's own soul. You do not know that God may later bring about a new relationship. So when they have fulfilled the prescribed time, either take them back in kindness or separate from them in kindness. And call together two people of justice from among you, and give correct testimony before God. Whoever believes in God in the last day is admonished to do this. For whomever respects God, God will find a way out. And God provides from where one could never imagine. Whoever trusts in God finds God to be sufficient. For God attains his purpose. God has set a measure for everything. For those women who have passed the age of menstruation, if you are in doubt, the prescribed time shall be three months, as it is for those who have not yet had their period. For pregnant women, the prescribed time is until they deliver their burden. For those who respect God, God will make this easy. This is the command of God that God has revealed to you, and whoever respects God, God will remove their ills and enlarge their rewards. Let the women live where you live according to your means, and do not bother them in order to straighten them. And if they are pregnant, spend on them until they deliver their burden. And if they suckle for you, give them compensation, and consult together in order to do good. But if you find yourselves in difficulties, let another woman suckle for him. Let the wealthy person spend from the wealth, and whose ever means are limited, may spend according to what God has given him. God puts no burden on any person beyond what God has given one. After hardship, God will bring about relief. How many peoples have rebelled against the commands of their Lord and God's messengers? And did we not call them to severe account with stern chastisement? Then they tasted the bad results of their actions, and the consequence of their conduct was loss. God prepared for them severe chastisement. Therefore respect God, O people of understanding. Believers, God has sent you a reminder, a messenger, who recites to you clear explanations of God, that God may bring forth those who believe and do good deeds from darkness into light. Whoever believes in God and does what is right God will admit to the gardens under which rivers flow to live there forever. God has given them good sustenance. God is the one who created seven heavens and similarly for the earth. The decree descends among them so that you may know that God has power over all things and that God comprehends all knowledge. 61. The Ranks In the name of God, the gracious, the loving. 
All the heavens and the earth glorify God, who is omnipotent and omniscient. O you who believe, why do you say what you do not do? It is very hateful to God that you say what you do not do. Surely God loves those who fight for his cause in ranks, as if they were a solid building. And remember Moses said to his people, O my people, why do you disappoint me, though you know I am God's messenger to you? When they went astray, God made their hearts turn away, for God does not guide transgressors. And remember Jesus, son of Mary, said, O children of Israel, I am the messenger of God to you, verifying the previous law and giving good news of a messenger who will come after me, whose name will be praised. Yet when he came to them with clear evidence, they said, This is plain magic. Who is more unjust than the one who invents lies about God, when one is being called to surrender? And God does not guide the unjust. They want to extinguish the light of God within their mouths, but God will perfect his light, though disbelievers may be averse. O believers, shall I direct you to a bargain that will save you from a grievous penalty? You shall believe in God and his messenger and struggle in God's way with your property and your persons. That is better for you if you only knew. God will forgive you your faults and admit you into gardens under which rivers flow and to beautiful mansions in eternal gardens. That is the supreme achievement. And other things you love, help from God and a quick victory. So give the good news to believers. O believers, be helpers of God. As Jesus, son of Mary, asked the disciples, Who will be my helpers for God? The disciples said, We are helpers for God. So some of the children of Israel believed, and some disbelieved. Then we strengthened those who believed against their enemies, and they became masters. 66. Forbidding. In the name of God, the gracious, the loving. O prophet, why do you forbid what God has made lawful for you, seeking to please your wives? God is forgiving and merciful. God has already sanctioned for you absolution from oaths. God is your protector, omniscient and wise. When the prophet confided a secret to one of his wives and she then divulged it, God made it known to him. He disclosed some of it and passed over some of it. So when he informed her of it, she asked, Who told you this? He said, The wise omniscient one informed me. If you both turn to God in repentance, as your hearts are inclined, you will be pardoned. But if you back up each other against him, God is his protector, and Gabriel and the good believers and the angels too are his helpers. It may be that if he divorces you, God will give him in your place better wives than you, who submit, believe, obey, repent, and are devout and fasting widows or virgins. O you believers, save yourselves and your families from a fire whose fuel is people and stones, over which are strong and severe angels, who do not disobey the commands they receive from God. O oh, you disbelievers, do not make excuses today. You are only being paid off for what you did. O oh, you believers, turn to God in sincere repentance. It may be that your Lord will remove from you your ills and admit you to gardens under which rivers flow. On that day God will not shame the prophet and those who believe with him. Their light will shine before them and on their right hands. They will say, our Lord, perfect our light for us and forgive us, you who have power over all things. O prophet, strive hard against the disbelievers and the hypocrites and be firm with them. Their home is hell, a bad refuge. God has set an example for the disbelievers in Noah's wife and Lot's wife, who were under two good servants but betrayed them. They will be no avail against God. And it was said, Enter the fire with those who enter. God has set an example for the believers in Pharaoh's wife when she said, Build for me a house with you in the garden, and deliver me from Pharaoh and his doing, 
and deliver me from the people doing wrong. And Mary, the daughter of Imran, guarded her chastity. So we breathed into her our spirit, and she accepted the truth of her Lord's words and his books, and she was one of the devout. 57. Iron. In the name of God, the gracious, the loving. All the heavens and the earth glorify God, who is omnipotent and omniscient. God has dominion over the heavens and the earth. God gives life and causes death, and he has power over all things. God is the first and the last, the outward and the inward, and he is aware of all. God is the one who created the heavens and the earth in six eons, and he is established in power. God knows all that enters the earth and what comes forth out of it, and what descends from heaven and what ascends to it. And he is with you wherever you are, and God sees what you do. His is the dominion over the heavens and the earth, and all matters return to God. He makes the night grow longer by shortening the day, and he makes the day grow longer by shortening the night, and he is aware of what is in hearts. Believe in God and his messenger and spend what he has entrusted to you. For those who believe and spend will have a great reward. What reason do you have for not believing in God, since the messenger is calling you to believe in your Lord? And he has made a covenant with you, if you are believers. God is the one who sends down to his servant clear communication, that he may bring you out of darkness into light. Truly God is kind and merciful to you. What reason do you have that you do not spend in God's way, since to God belongs the heritage of the heavens and the earth? Not equal are those who spent and fought before the victory. They are more exalted than those who spent and fought afterwards. But God has promised good to all, and God is aware of what you do. Who is there that will lend to God a good loan, so that he will double it for him, and he will have a generous reward. On that day you will see the faithful men and women with their light shining before them and on their right. Good news for you this day, gardens under which rivers flow to live in forever, that is the supreme achievement. On that day when the hypocritical men and women say to the faithful, wait for us that we may borrow from your light, it shall be said, Return and seek light. Then separating them will be a wall with a door. On the inside of it is mercy, and on the outside of it is suffering. They will call out to them, Were we not with you? They will say, Yes, but you fell into temptation and hesitated and doubted, and vain desires deceived you until the command of God occurred, and the deceiver deluded you about God. So today no ransom will be accepted from you, nor from those who disbelieved. Your home is the fire. That is your friend and your evil refuge. Is it not time for the hearts of the believers to be humble in remembering God and the truth which has been revealed? And that they should not be like those who were given the Bible before? And their time was so prolonged that their hearts hardened, and many of them transgressed. Know that God revives the earth after it was dead. We have communicated clearly to you so that you may understand. Surely the charitable men and women who gave God a good loan will have it doubled for them, and they will have a generous reward. And those who believe in God and his messengers are the truthful and faithful ones in the sight of their Lord. They will have their reward and their light. But those disbelieving who reject our communications are the inmates of hell. Know that the life of this world is only play and amusement and a show, and boasting among yourselves, and rivalry and wealth and children, like the rain that causes vegetation to grow, pleasing the farmers. Then it withers, and you see it turn yellow. Then it dries up and crumbles away. But in the hereafter is a severe punishment, and forgiveness from God and good pleasure, while the life of this world is nothing but enjoying delusion. Vie with one another for forgiveness from your Lord, 
and for a garden that is as extensive as heaven and earth, prepared for those who believe in God and his messengers. That is the grace of God, which he gives to whomever he pleases. And God is the Lord of abundant grace. No disaster can happen on earth nor in yourselves unless it is decreed before we bring it into existence. That is very easy for God, so that you may not grieve for what escapes you, nor rejoice in what is given you. For God does not love proud boasters, such as those who are stingy and encourage avarice in people. And whoever turns away, then truly God is self-sufficient and praiseworthy. Certainly we sent our messengers with clear arguments, and sent down with them the Bible, and the balance, so that people may act with justice. And we have given iron in which is great violence, as well as benefits for humanity. And so that God may know who helps him and his messengers, though unseen. Surely God is strong and powerful. And we sent Noah and Abraham, and established in their line prophecy and revelation, so that some of them are rightly guided, but many of them are transgressors. Then we sent our messengers following in their footsteps, and afterwards we sent Jesus, son of Mary, and gave him the good message. And we put in the hearts of those who followed him kindness and mercy, and they invented monasticism, which we did not prescribe for them, only seeking God's pleasure. But they did not observe it as it should be observed. So we gave to those who believed their reward, but many of them are transgressors. O you who believe, remain conscious of God and trust in his messenger. He will give you double his grace and shine a light where you will walk and forgive you. God is forgiving and merciful, so that the followers of the Bible may know that they do not control any of the grace of God, and that grace is in God's hand to give to whom he pleases. And God is the Lord of abundant grace. 110. Help. In the name of God, the gracious, the loving. When God's help and victory comes, and you see people entering the religion of God in crowds, then celebrate the praise of your Lord and ask his forgiveness, for he always returns to love.